If you are experiencing screen glitches such as flickering or blackouts when trying to connect an RTX 30 series card, say the 3080 or 3090, to output 4K at 120Hz with VRR or HDR to an HDMI 2.1 television such as this Samsung Q90T, then a better HDMI 2.1 cable might be the solution. Hello everyone, Vincent Thiel from HDTV Test here. So last night I was trying to get 4K at 120Hz with VRR and HDR to be working from this Samsung Q90T QLED television from an RTX 3090 card founders edition that Nvidia has been kind enough to loan me. I think I spent one hour and two minutes in total, but because of the clocks going back, it only took me two minutes, which is par for the course really. So what I'm going to try and demonstrate in this video is how to troubleshoot this kind of issue, go through the problem step by step to resolve this issue so that you can actually get 4K at 120Hz with VRR with HDR on your HDMI 2.1 television. The first thing you need to do is to make sure that you have an HDMI 2.1 cable that has been rated at 48 gigabits per second or say 8K resolution. Now the thing is the HDMI forum who is responsible for the HDMI 2.1 specifications have only started testing and certifying HDMI 2.1 cables at the back end of September. So the first HDMI 2.1 premium certified cables will only arrive onto the market say in the middle of November. But there are many cables on Amazon that has been marketed as HDMI 2.1, 48 gigabits per second. So you don't know which one is good and which one is bad. And to be honest, until I test all of them, you know, I will not know either. But the cable that I'm going to be using is this one by TrueHQ. It is a British company. It stands for True High Quality, really simple and I always buy British whenever I can. This 3 meter cable that I'm going to be using is only 20 quid, so it doesn't really cost the earth. And I'm going to try and swap out the existing cable. You can see that the screen has blacked out there, so I'm going to take out my older cable, swap it out, and then use the true HQ cable and see what we get. So I've swapped over to the 3 meter true HQ HDMI 2.1 cable and I'll be going through the steps I'll be taking to try and get 4K at 120Hz with VRR and HDR on this Samsung Q90T. And what I'm going to do first is to remove the Tizen taskbar and then we shall check the resolution currently and it is currently running at 4K at 60Hz without HDR. And you can see here also that the TV is defaulting into PC mode upon detection of a PC being connected to the television. So the first thing that you need to do is to enable Input Signal Plus to unlock HDMI 2.1 from your HDMI port 4, which is the only HDMI 2.1 port on any Samsung 2020 QLED television. So if we go into External Device Manager, whenever you connect a new signal, I think you know Input Signal Plus is usually off, especially for PC use. So you need to turn it on. This will unlock HDMI 2.1. So after doing that, we get out from here. And you can see here that it has allowed for 4K at 120Hz. I think the font is a bit small, so let me try and enlarge it for you. So if I can go to display settings and then I'll scale up to the recommended font of 300%. So if I can press the info button, you can see that we are running at 4K at 120 hertz with HDR and UHD without any flickering whatsoever at the moment. Although I do see some slight bending on this Windows backdrop, but I think you know it is just how Samsung TVs handle it. If I actually 
bring up the display HDR test suite and if I go to 7 so to me it seems that it is actually outputting at 10 bit rather than 8 bit from the gradation on this display HDR. Oh, I would like to thank my colleague Adam Fairclough, also known as Evil Boris, for introducing me to this display HDR app on Windows. It is quite useful. And if I can close this and make sure that, you know, everything is at 120 hertz, and then we'll try to enable VRR. So currently, it is not allowing you to select G-Sync or VRR. That is because we are still in PC mode. You need to basically swap to game mode before VRR can be enabled. So we'll go to external device manager, game mode. We'll switch game mode on. Okay, so currently we are running in game mode, HDMI 4, 4K at 60 hertz. So it is still stuck at 60 hertz. So we'll try again to use the NVIDIA control panel to get to 120 hertz. And Apply. Right, here you can see some sort of issue with the screen. So again, the way to resolve this is to unplug it and then plug it in again. So it will go through the scanning and detection process again. And here you can see that it has reverted back to FreeSync VRR 60 Hz without HDR. So what we'll do is we will go into game mode again. And if we press the info button, and voila, you can see that we are running 4K at 120Hz with VRR and also HDR. So what I will do now is to use the G-Sync Pendulum demo. Oh, before I forget, you need to actually make sure that G-Sync is enabled inside the NVIDIA control panel. So you can see here that you know I've enabled G-Sync and enabled settings for the selected display even though it is not specifically G-Sync compatible and we run the G-Sync Pendulum demo. Right, there is very mild stuttering currently because you know our frame rate is a bit on the low side. So let's say if we go to 50 to 120. Right, I think you know there is some mouse stuttering here and there, but I'm not really seeing it now. You know, now that you know I'm not moving my mouse cursor, it looks buttery smooth and without any tearing artifacts. And if I can just drag this around, it looks very smooth to me. So that is how I managed to get 4K at 120Hz with HDR and also VR. It says freezing there, but realistically it is basically only using HDMI Forum VRR, which is the open standard from an RTX 3090 Founders Edition to the Samsung Q90T. And again, I spotted some posterization or bending in the sky. I don't know whether that's just how you know Samsung TVs handle it. I mean when I actually tested using the display HDR app, you know, it's saying that you know it's outputting in 10 bit. So I hope you found this video useful. The thing with HDMI 2.1 cables currently, especially with the Xbox Series X and also the PS5 coming out 
next month is that you know I don't think there are any HDMI 2.1 premium certified cable on the market so it is basically a crapshoot on Amazon and the true HQ cable I'm using obviously it worked for me but it may not work for you because of quality control but you know at least anecdotally it worked for me so you might want to try it out and it is only 20 quid for a 3 meter cable anyway and you can always return it on Amazon if it doesn't work for you and the thing with HDMI cables especially when you are dealing with such high bandwidth is that the shorter the length the easier it is to pass the entire full bandwidth so basically the shorter the better which is contrary to the common wish for a certain other body anatomy but if you would like to learn more about HDMI 2.1 and next-gen consoles I created a playlist here if you would like to click on it and watch some videos and I'll see you in the next one Bye.